Welcome to Bamford Rose and another question of the week. This week it's a follow-up series to the DB9 engine tick and this week we can show the engine stripped down and identify the problem. So if you've not seen it please check out the previous videos on the DB9 engine tick which uh, we link in the bio. It might be worthwhile listening, seeing those videos, and then coming back to this one. So now you can see the engine laid out on the bench. And uh, here we've got pistons, comrods out, and a couple of pictures of the block. You can see cylinder liners. And actually, this engine cylinder liners all look really good. There's still honing marks on the liners, and it doesn't look too bad at all. Um, as you can see here, we've got the bore scope measuring uh, the liner, we're measuring um, its uh, maximum size to check it's within tolerance and we're measuring to see if it's perfectly round and it hasn't worn oval. And on this particular block it's all good, everything is fine. So we've got none of the piston slap issue causing uh, the tick and uh, if we just rem remind ourselves of the particular tick that this engine had, we'll play it now. And this sound, as we can measure now, is all to do with the small embush, which is good news for this repair because it's going to be the most minor of repairs needed. Now we can see the piston pin in the small embush in the Comrod, and look how we just put the piston pin into the small end and it just drops out onto the table straight away. I, at room temperature, this should be sort of an interference fit where it's pretty difficult to get the pin into the bush to start with and gravity won't allow the, the pin to fall out on the table. So immediately you can see that this is uh, out of tolerance before taking any measurements. The next thing we do is we've got the pin in the piston. So we can feel, it's difficult, you're not gonna see this, appreciate this on the video, but we can feel uh, either side of our fingers rocking the pin in the piston that there is some movement here. And again, you shouldn't really be able to put the pin into the piston like we have done at room temperature. It should be more of an interference fit. Separate from the bore scope showing to us that the liner has not worn over creating piston slap. I'm more for your visual appreciation. We've put the piston inverted on the end of a connecting rod into the liner and now we can move it around the clock face and left and right, up and down. And if the liner had worn oval, in the worst cases what happens is you physically can't move the piston around in the liner like this. So this is showing that it's all to do with the small embush wear. So the fix for this particular engine is to update with the small embush that's got the oil channel in, rebuild the engine, put it back together and everything is going to be good. So for this particular DB9, you know, it wasn't a catastrophic rebuild necessary. Next update will be engine running in the car. Obviously we'll, we'll um, show the rebuild process. So stay tuned to this series. Hope you like what you see and as always, please comment. So it really helps us if you can subscribe and click the bell for notifications.